Okay, today we got another reviews, um, MOTU. Yeah, we're gonna try to use this, um, carded backdrop that came with one of the two-pack. That looks really cool, it's kind of a Castle Grayskull like background. So there you heard the, uh, the song by the Beastie Boys, so guess who we're reviewing today? Tell them, Reed. Beastie Man. <laughs> no, not Beastie Man. <laughs> Beast Man. Alright. Skeletor, we did Man at Arms, who's He Man's kind of right hand guy, so Beast Man would be Skeletor's right hand man, right? Mm -hmm. So, what are Beast Man's powers, Reed? Um, beast stuff? <laughs> beast stuff, okay. So, he can swing from vines and stuff like Tarzan, but he can control animals with his mind, okay? That'll be significant when we do the comparison. So, Beast Man, based on the uh, vintage Beast Man, just pretty basic. Uh, he's got his Electro Whip, which he had in the cartoon, both cartoons, really. Um, you see the he's got all the good Matty articulation, uh, Matty Collector articulation. Just a really, really great figure here. Um, maybe a little bit smaller. If you wanted a Mike Young's uh, 2000X figure, you'd have to have a bigger buck uh, for Beast Man. But this one's just really great. I love the ones that are based on the vintage figure toy line. That are you know just a huge upgrade from that. So, yeah, Beast Man. He's kind of dumb at times, or at least he was in the filmation cartoon. And and yet he has ambition. He wants to take over Skeletor sometimes. Sometimes he's afraid of him, terrified of him. Uh, you just never know what you're going to get with Beast Man. But he's definitely a bad guy. Um, the um, the Masters Universe lore. He is from. A, he's one of the last of a race of Eternia Beast Men. Um, there's a Jigor, which we'll review later who's an, an ancient Eternian beast man, a lot bigger. Um, but he's, he's one of the last of that race, so he's kind of um, trying to find his way in the world, I guess, and he thinks that throwing in with Skeletor is the thing to do, but he ought to figure out by now that's not where you're going to win. By the way, kids, evil never wins, right, Reed? Always go with good, and always go with God, because God knows what's good. So, beast man. So it's comparison time? Mm-hmm. All right. So for DC, the logical choice we thought was Gorilla Grodd. Some people might disagree because Grodd's so much smarter than Beast Man, and that's true. But Grodd has the mind control power. Okay, he has that. He uses technology. Beast Man's is natural. I don't think Grodd controls. No, that. he has his amulet. Oh, okay. Does his amulet part of his? I guess. Magical. Okay, some of his beast control power might be magical. I think he can control beasts though, even without the amulet. Okay. I'm not sure about the amulet. So Grodd controls beasts um, with his and humans. tech. And hmm? And humans. No, right, you're right. That's the difference. Grodd controls humans. He tries to control the minds of superheroes, whereas Beast Man can only control animals. So, But like with Manny Faces, when he goes into monster mode, Beast Man can control Manny Faces. So Gorilla Grodd's DC. And for Marvel... The beastiest guy we could find is the Incredible Hulk, Wendigo. Love this figure. There was a previous release of Wendigo, and basically it was Sasquatch from Alpha Flight repainted white. So this one's better. And this is Wendigo that squares off with Hulk and other Marvel superheroes. I don't think Wendigo has any kind of mind-controlling powers for animals or humans, but he's a beast type guy. Uh, as you can see... In the Hulk Agents of Smash, if he bit someone, they turned into a Wendigo. Oh, really? Okay, so if he bites you, you turn into a Wendigo. It would be pretty cool to have a white repaint of Beast Man. Check, check him out and see if you think that'd be cool. Uh, maybe a, an Arctic Beast Man of sorts. I'm trying to get... Wendigo has this tail, right? So I'm trying to get him to stand up. And... Because he was standing up fine a little while ago. What'd I do, Reed? Okay, here we go. I just had to reposition the legs. Okay, so for honorable mention today, it's kind of a beast man. He's a good guy, though. Sasquatch from Alpha Flight. This is a Toy Biz figure. All of them were a little bit more articulated than the Marvel. But he's kind of a beast man, because check him out. He looks, he looks a lot fur is similar and orangish and all that. So Sasquatch gets honorable mention. So what do you think, fans? Who wins a battle between Grodd? And Wendigo and Sasquatch and Beast Man. Reed says, Grodd. And Daddy says, 
Peace, man. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Come back soon.